Hello, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to set up your own personal Gmail email account uh, and then I'm going to have some videos after it that uh, shows, you, shows you a few of the uh, features you should know about uh, when using Gmail. So first thing we're going to do is uh, go to gmail.com. As you can see here, um, first thing we're going to need to do is go to the create an account button which is down here on your right. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to take you to a create your, a create your account screen. Um, get started with Gmail. I already have some things saved in here. I have a few different Gmail accounts. Uh, some web browsers save that information for you. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, enter uh, a desired name. Uh, my name is going to be Dan Gilbert. Uh, then they're going to ask you uh, your desired login name. This will be your email address uh, at gmail.com. I would suggest something that has your name included. So it could be something like Dan Gilbert at gmail.com. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to this check availability button and Gmail is going to search through and see if they already have um, an email titled Dan Gilbert at gmail.com. So we're going to click on it. And no surprise, Gmail is a very big site. That uh, uh, that name is already taken, so we're going to have to alter it a little to um, to kind of please Gmail and um, um, make sure we get our own email. So first thing we're going to do is, uh, first thing I like to do is um, add uh, some numbers, maybe your favorite number. So let's say my favorite number is 14. Oh, and it just so happens Dan Gilbert, 14, is available. So now that you have your name, as long as you want to keep it, Next thing we need to do is pick a password. I would suggest something that's very memorable, um, something um, that's not going to easily be forgotten, but also that's not too simple. I would highly not recommend your name, uh, password, let me in, something very simple that uh, people could easily figure out. Uh, so I'm going to just pick a, a random, um, random word and see what Gmail says. And as you can see over here in a little uh, green line, and it says password strength, and Gmail is telling me that it's a strong password, which is the highest you can get. So, if it's strong, keep it. If it shows weak or alright, you may want to think about changing it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to the security question. Security question um, is going to be um, the question Gmail will ask you if you ever forget your password. Uh, what that does is it verifies that it's you and that they can re-email you at a different address or even text you uh, your correct password or they can simply reset the password for you. So click on the drop down you can see you have a few different choices. I'm going to go with what is your name, what is the name of your best friend from childhood. This one will be simple for me to remember. It's going to the name of Matt. You can also fill in on uh, this next box a recovery email. Cover email is where your email will be sent um, if something should have happened to this Gmail account. If you have one, I suggest filling it in. I have one, so I'm going to fill that in. Um, next, we have location, birthday. All these are very simple things um, to get filled out. Most likely, the hardest part of all this, and it's kind of funny, is um, Gmail's word verification. Many um, Websites will do this to make sure that you are an actual human being. So you are going to type these characters here into this box, and they make it somewhat difficult on you for a reason. Uh, do not be embarrassed if you do not get it on the first try. And we're going to scroll down. You can read through their terms of use policy, and then click on I agree, create my account. Hopefully it creates it for us. And it did. So now what you see is their introduction to Gmail page. Uh, really nothing here you need to, to know. Uh, they talk about some new features. But really we want to just click on the show me my account button. And that will take us into where we want to go. Well, that's all we're going to discuss in this first video. Keep it nice, short, and sweet. Hopefully it wasn't too difficult on you and hopefully it wasn't a little too rudimentary. Uh, and then in the next video I'm going to explain a few more things about Gmail.